Welcome faculty members and fellow students. My name is Wang Hyun Cho. I'm very delighted to introduce our project on the video. Let me get this started with the objective of our quiz project. You might have a bicycle at home. The bicycle which people have would have 21 gear combinations. We proposed a project of developing an automatic bicycle gear shifter for this type of bicycle. The automatic shifter is based on the running speed of the bicycle. The system could be di divided into four parts. Number one, speed detector. Number two, control unit. Number three, automatic shifting device and display. Let's move on to system flow chart. When the system turned on, it, it moves on the initial position. The speed detector on rear observed the running speed of the bicycle of the bicycle. After comparing the current speed the system determines the next gear shifting level. And then the system conducts an actual control of this mode. From now on, let my team members take over this and explain each part of the system. Hi, my name is Yi Sang -hun. I am in charge of sensors and peripheral circuit design. Let me explain the first part of the system, speed detector. Speed detector is consisting of a hard sensor and a set of magnets. It's placed on the rear wheel. This picture shows the spark caps and the wheel chain. This is a good example of gear combination and this is bad one because it causes mechanical damage on sprockets. With this combination construct, we pick nine combinations to shift automatically. This brings an effective transmission to people who are not familiar with gear safety. This system will control the shifter based on the speed table. The megalabs has the sensor. The sensor generates signals that the system can calculate the running speed with these signals. Next part is about control unit. We use DSP digital signal processor as a main processor. The DSP controls two DC motors with the input from speed detecting sensors, which we just got covered. We designed a PCB board to easily mount the whole circuit element on the bicycle. Let's go on to see how the setup works. Hi, I'm Choi Song Hoon. I'm in charge of mechanical design for this project. Here I'm going to talk about the automatic shifting device. First, please look at this picture. This picture shows how the system controls the DC motors. To prevent from impo causing impulsive effect on the system, a cosine curve is fed to the motor driving circuit. And we apply PD control for motor position control to obtain faster response. Now, let's see how the shifter works. A pair of DC motors are connected with transmission cables to control derailers. When the motor rotates, the cable is wound up on a pulley, then this results in a gear shift. A four interrupter is also added next to the motor to remember the initial position. Lastly, display part follows. We implemented a display to let a bicycle rider know the status of the system. It's possible to operate the system with a character LCD and pu two push switches. The display shows the current speed, uh, current running speed, and the gear number. We have covered 
the details about the system so far. In closing, I would like to stress out what the automatic shifter brings out to us. First, it brings less problem with manual gear shifting for those who are not familiar with it. Second, automatic shifting brings less mechanical aberration on the transmission cable and sprocket. Last, smooth bicycle riding becomes possible. Demonstration. So that concludes the video presentation of the project. Thank you for watching. Thank you! Thank you.